right here on TMJ4. This is where we bring in Rod Burks, who is at Mi Casa Su Cafe in Milwaukee. Rod, what's happening over there? Well, Charles, we got the chef Paul here. We're going to be working on his famous shrimp and grits, which is one of the best in the city. But before, we're going to get into the story of Charles, you, somebody you may know, a special guest that he had here. Yeah, Governor Tony Ewer stopped by a couple of weeks ago, shot the campaign commercial here, talked to some customers, and a few friends of mine came down to meet him. Uh, everything worked out well since the visit. Business picked up right away, and the momentum is still carrying right now, so we're doing really great right now. That's right, and he was in the commercial himself. So now we're going to get to the shrimp and grits. Let's get photo journalist uh, Andrew Triplin in here. So let's get into the dish and what's going in here. Uh, right now, this is our shrimp and grits. This is our biggest seller. I use big shrimp, 13, 15, because they're great for presentation. We got them sauteed and ready. Hey, grab the mixed vegetables for okay. me right there. Mixed, now these are the mixed vegetables. Now, what are the mixed vegetables? Oh, we got chopped spinach in here. We got some colored peppers and uh, red onions. Okay. And what does that do to, for the dish, Chef Paul? Oh, it Paul? adds a lot of flavor to it, man. A lot of flavor. Like I said, the colors, okay. colors are popping for the presentation. It's great. Uh, it also is healthy for you. Right, right, right. And on a normal day, like today is a slow Monday, how many shrimp and grits will you sell? I think today we did about uh, 45 to 50 orders of shrimp and grits. We opened up at 10 o'clock, and right away our first five or six orders were shrimp and grits. So. Now, now let's get into the, the grits itself. Now, everybody has a tough time making the grits. What, how, what makes you make the perfect grits? for your shrimp and grits. The grits have to have a nice consistency. They have to be the right kind of thickness. They have to be creamy. You want them thick, but you don't want them too thick. Mm -hmm. They have to be thick enough so the sauce can sit right on top of the grits uh, without falling through. So if it, you know the sauce is too thin, if the grits are too thin, the sauce is going to sink through and it's going to look very messy. Okay. So I add heavy cream to the grits. Get them nice and creamy and ready. I got the shrimp and veggies down okay. here. Now, what about that special sauce? Now, this is my Cajun sauce right here. I use cheddar sauce, uh, Parmesan, heavy cream, and a bunch of Cajun seasonings and garlic. And uh, let me turn this down here so we got this going. Yeah. And the sauce is one of the main parts. The sauce has a nice separate seasoning of its own, so when you eat the shrimp and grits, they can stand, the sauce by itself can stand alone. The grits by itself can stand alone. And you almost forgot the bread, but I didn't. Oh, no <laughs> the bread was on that dish, okay. So now we're gonna add the shrimp. Now we got less than a minute here, so we're gonna we make go. sure we get everything going, so. We got our grits right here. Perfectly made grits. So you wanna have them about right there as far as thickness. That's what you're looking for. Yeah. Now let me grab this here. Yeah. Sauce also, you wanna have it the wow, right Wow, look thickness. at that sauce. That's a special sauce right there. Chef Paul sauce right there. Oh, uh, you can't beat that, folks. Now you see how the sauce sits right on top of the grits. It doesn't sink through. It's because the grits have their own consistency. It's nice, stick. Now here comes the goodness right here. Here's the here goodness go. right there. Oh man, look at that. The shrimp look and grits. That. Hottest seller right there. How many how many shrimp and grits are you doing on the weekend? On a weekend, Saturday and Sunday combined, we do about maybe 100, 120 orders of shrimp and grits for both days. And we're gonna top them off. A little bit of bread. All right. There's Chef Paul there with the go. shrimp and grits. Folks, it doesn't get better than that. We want to thank Chef Paul for letting us into his house with his Thanks. hot selling shrimp and grits. Charles, when's the last time you had some shrimp and grits? <laughs> I'm coming down right after the show. Yeah, that looks good. Tell man. Chef Paul to keep one for <laughs> All right, me. All we'll right. See you in a few minutes, buddy. All right, thanks.